What we can learn from Patrick Kane's passing. When most people think of Patrick Kane, they think of his silky smooth mitts. But to me, it's his hockey IQ that comes to mind. Specifically, his anticipation of where his teammates will be and where the defenders won't. He's the best cerebral passer in modern day hockey. Don't get me wrong, Kaner has plenty of unbelievable goals where his hands, shot, and speed are on display. But similar to Gretzky, what separates him from all the other NHL talent is his ability to read the game. He also does one thing your coach probably has told you not to do. So stick around till the end to learn Kane's secret sauce. Okay, let's start with Kaner on a two on two with the bread man. Kane first recognizes both he and Panarin don't have much speed. He also knows Panarin is a righty, and so when he works wide, he correctly assumes Panarin will pull up for a 1T rather than driving the cage. I'd argue this is knowledge of Panarin too, as how many times have you seen him crash cage hard? Kane knows Panarin's tendencies are skill routes rather than a lunch pail route to the net. We call this no look, but Kane has mental images in his mind where Panarin will be from the last time he saw him to when he makes the pass. Kane's spinorama passes are great examples of this. He scans the ice and knows by the time he spins around how the play will develop and thus where the pass needs to be. Let's take a look at another pass to Panarin on the rush. As you can see here, Kane looks left and sees two things. One, his center lane driver has been taken out of the play, but the Blues player has his back turned, so there's no threat to steal the pass. And number two, Panarin's defender isn't super tight to him. This gives Kane the green light to put his head down and make sure he gets the proper power and angle on the pass. And again, it results in a goal. As a student of the game, Kane understands that just because someone is accounted for doesn't mean he's not open. Similar to a fade in football, if a pass is on target and on time, it's almost impossible to stop. And in many ways, Kane is just passing to avoid defender's sticks, knowing that with other good players, putting pucks into space will result in quality chances. Another thing Kane excels at is understanding momentum. In today's game, everyone wants to keep momentum as at the end of the day, stopping and starting is the most taxing job on the lung and legs. Thus, players naturally try to avoid stopping and tired legs often can't stop quickly. So if Kane recognizes momentum in one direction, he knows there's a good chance the player won't come to a complete stop immediately to break up a pass. On this play, if Phoenix's defenseman does dig in and stops his momentum, the pass would be broken up. But he doesn't and a goal is scored. We simply don't see players and teams doing this enough today, and with goalies only getting better and better, I think we should see more of these passes to quote unquote cover guys to get goalies moving. Now some of you might be thinking that a lot of these passes are high risk, and you're right. But something the great one and Kaner understand is that if these passes get through, the chances of a goal happening skyrocket. That's because these passes are going through the house in an area where teammates many times are looking at a wide open net on the other end. The best players will always be passers first, as four options where a goalie may not see is better than one option that the goalie does see. Now earlier in the video I said there's something that Kane does that would drive coaches crazy. That is that he purposely puts his head down to make passes. A typical coaching narrative is to look where you're passing and shooting. I can still hear my coaches yelling, no blind passes. But smart players like Kane who can build mental images have a huge advantage of not staring down their targets, as both defenders and goalies are less prepared for what is to come. Kane has also mastered scanning the ice before receiving the puck. So in many instances, he doesn't look up at all when the puck is on and off his stick quickly. Simply impossible to read. While Kane isn't the same player he was in his prime, his hockey sense is going to serve Detroit very well once he builds up his rapport with his new teammates. Let me know in the comments who else comes to mind when thinking of cerebral passers in today's game, and please hit the subscribe button if you want to see more long-form videos from Along the Ice.